everybody. It's so good to have you here. My name is Kathy Gullickson, and along with my husband, Mark, I'm one of our co-chairs this year. This is my fabulous, remarkable, unbelievable. Are we getting this on film here? <laughs> What, magnificent husband, Mark, uh, who is co-chairing with me this year, and to my right, our vice chair, the fabulous Ron Olson. So we're really happy that you're here, and we're happy that you have provided for us a capacity crowd here at the National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library. Now the first order of business is to thank our sponsors, and that's Mark's job, but already he has delegated to me because he thinks it's kind of weird to thank himself. So, one of our sponsors tonight is Ryan Companies, and he's involved with Ryan Companies, so thank you, Ryan You're Companies. You. And if you uh, could glance at our pictures up here, you see Rating Rose, which is also a pace setter company, one of our sponsors, Chuck and his crew somewhere. We're going to hear more from them in a bit. Czech Slovak Museum is not only providing us our faith out of this rainy wet night, but we have tours and hosting for them, so thank you very much. And of course, Zins catered a great bit of snacks for us, and we'll be diving back into those later. Yes, and also Zins has created a uh, Eat Healthy and Live uh, United menu, a special menu from now through September 11th, I believe, and a portion of those profits will go, go towards United Way, so be sure and uh, get to a Zins between now and September 11th. So now, without further ado, what is, what is it that we signed up to do, Mark? It's becoming less and less clear. Let's see if we have some good here to help us. With your help, obviously, it's a very big number. $10,581,690, exceeding, exceeding the goal for the campaign, exceeding any number ever raised before. So thank you very much and congratulations. Hi, Morgan. Hi, Tim. Good luck this year. Thanks, Tim. Well, I better run. All right. Bye. Every year has been a journey. The 2011 campaign ended in December and raised a record $10.58 million. But of course, we aren't stopping. There are more problems to solve. We have found that many issues and problems are classified in three categories. Education, financial stability, and health. Each of these categories is connected, as are their long-term solutions. For real improvement, we have to work on all three areas. United Way is the expert when it comes to providing the tools and assistance people need in our community. United Way looks at the big picture and works with around 40 community partners who are skilled at helping specific groups and fulfilling specific needs. We understand the problems in our community and we provide solutions for immediate assistance and a plan for long-term support. I have an uh, income of $600 a month rent has to come out of that, my phone bill, I get $27 in food stamps. I'm very lucky, I get a hot meal every day. I just can't believe the amount of help and th that I'm getting. Uh, to the people who donate, I would say thank you very much. And if, if I can say thank you for someone who can't, I'll give you a thousand of them. Along with our community partners, we work with volunteers who generously offer their time, talent, and treasure allowing us to help provide short-term and long-term solutions and support. The Jane Boyer program helps my kids with homework and reading, and it fills in where I can't. The program has really helped Darnell to grow more confident, and he's just been able to really grow in his social abilities. With a joint effort from our community partners, volunteers, and donors like you, United Way can help put the pieces together for those looking for guidance to get their lives back on track. I was homeless for many years, living from place to place and till that every option had ran out. United Way donations make a wonderful difference in our lives and other people's too.
Phew, that was hard work. What a ride. Here you go. Thanks, Morgan. You've covered a lot of roads so far, and so has United Way. And like any road you face, you face obstacles in your path, such as hills and roadblocks. United Way understands those obstacles and the struggles people face and is an expert when it comes to finding solutions. Yes, United Way helps people. It helps put together the pieces that provide the resources our neighbors need. Whether it's someone looking for a new job, tutors or learning assistance for kids, perhaps shelters or housing help, or maybe someone in substance abuse recovery. United Way brings together the community's goals, solutions, and resources to improve our community one piece at a time. We know that our donation will make a difference. So can yours. Please join us. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Wait, I forgot this. As you can see, it takes some coordination to fit the puzzle pieces together for a better community. United Way helps us do that. That's why I give, that's why I volunteer. Now, will you help us raise $10 million this year? We want to raise that much again this year for the sixth year in a row. So, will you get on the train with us? Come on, let's go. equity cards too, by the way. Um, the numbers are pretty impressive. Think about the $10 million, six years in a row, $60 million out of this community, and every year we're helping 100,000 people. Now how does that happen? We have 500 companies giving and 22,000 donors, so a lot of people are involved. Uh, now, as part of our goal of raising this $10 million, we also have set some goals relative to adding 3,500 additional donors and to also add maybe 25 companies to that group of 500. So we have a pretty aggressive campaign set out. Before I turn this back to Kathy though, I want to thank two other groups of people. Crandick sat there for a long time with us with their engine, <laughs> waiting for us to get our lines right. So the whole crew of Crandick and uh, Lion Energy has been great help with this. And there was a whole crew of volunteers. So thanks to those folks also. Okay, I know that all of us here in this room live United already, but I'm wondering if we really know a whole lot about United Way, so we have a little quiz for you. So put on your thinking caps, and I think... Um, we need we some have, help. We need a little help. I think we need a movie star. A real movie star. <laughs> here she is, Morgan, Morgan Kamana. Now this time, what Morgan has in her backpack is a bunch of Live United t-shirts. So those are your prizes. So I hope you're ready. We have several questions for you. The first one to yell out the, the right answer is going to win a t-shirt. Um, if nobody gets exactly the right answer, then the closest one gets it. So get ready. Here we go. I have the first question. In 2007, it was the first year that United Way of East Central Iowa raised over $10 million. The question is, who was the campaign chair that year? Lydia. I heard one right over here. Ashley? Lydia just yelled out, was it me? <laughs> Lydia, did you know it was you? <laughs> Lydia Brown. <laughs> before 9.4 million was raised in 2006 and just over 10 million the next year congratulations Lydia you started us on a roll what Kathy didn't tell you is you've seen those guns that shoot the t-shirts out at games like I think the Rough Riders we were gonna use them in here but Kathy's aim is so bad we thought she might bring down the chandelier so uh, no go on that next question uh, you've all heard about 211, and uh, I think Mark is the one that said, uh, what's the telephone number for 211, didn't you? No, I, I'm just kidding, just kidding. 211 is the great referral service that matches individuals with services United Way has. 
How many calls do you think uh, 211 had last year? That's the next question. There's one. There's one. Anybody else? Anybody else? 42,001. <laughs> okay. We have a winner. 42,001. Good job. Actually, it was 50,000, almost 50,000. Quite a few calls. Also, there were thousands of hits to the 211 website also. Question number three. We all go to uh, Mr. Beans or to Brew Awakenings or Just Brewed and we spend our $2 or our $3 on our drinks. A lot of us more than once a day. Think about $10 a week going to United Way. $520 a year. How many dental screenings for low-income children would that pay for? 26, good guess. It's not, 27 is not exactly right. Just because uh, Mr. Bickle's a former chair, and he's not even closely accurate, but he needs better looking clothes, we'll give him the shirt. <laughs> the answer is 37. Every donation makes a difference, as you know, and um, at $10 per week that we're just talking about, that would put you at the court and leadership level. So some of you here might want to be thinking about that. As you know, one of our puzzle pieces is also health. Here's a health question for you. How many older adults in our area do you think are in need of a nutritious meal? It's more than 37. 400 some? 520? 2,000? 5,000? You're not there yet. That's a little too high. 10,000, that's a pretty good guess. This young man right here gets a t-shirt. The truth is 15,468 older adults are in need of a nutritious meal and that's why we need you. Okay, we, we raised that $10 million a year. One of our puzzle pieces up here should come up as education. So how much are we spending out of the United Way programming dollars on education? Somebody throw out a guess. Okay, divide that by two. That's exactly right, $2 million. <laughs> Excellent. You're obviously Still a lot standing. of money, though. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Okay, you're in luck. We're on our last question. Uh, here's something I didn't know. Um, every year, volunteers help prepare taxes for low-income <laughs> residents. Take a guess how many volunteers help with that. <laughs> Fifty. That's close. We have no fifty. 50. This isn't this isn't an auction, but that's good. That's good. Fifty was right. Beth Alpha. Fifty-six. It's actually in over five point two million dollars. It brings back into our community, and I, I think I read on the website over two thousand individuals take advantage of this program. So it's a terrific program. So thanks for playing, everybody. And now let's hear a quick update from our president and CEO, Lois Bunn. Let's give Morgan a hand, too. Morgan Murphy. Well, good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming out tonight. Um, before Mark and uh, Kathy and Ron escape too far to the side, um, I think we all need to give them a round of applause. I think all of you know uh, being a campaign chair takes a lot, a lot of time. Many of you in the room have done it. Uh, we've been in countless meetings. Um, we're gathering lots of really great stories about Mark and Kathy and Ron that we'll share with you at celebration, so you need to come back for that. But let's give them a round of applause for everything. <laughs> I also just want to uh, give a round of applause to our United Way staff. They put everything together. They do a lot of the things behind the scenes to make the campaign run, as well as all the events. So let's thank them also and give them a round of applause. Well, we've been talking a lot about money. And money is important because, as the old saying goes, no money, no mission. And um, our goals, we've had a great successful history of 10 million plus, 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 and we know we're going to have a lot of plus, plus, pluses behind that 10 million this next year.
But one of the things we want to remind you about is where, does that, where do the dollars go? So our community goals are listed up there, and I'm not going to read them for you. But two years ago, United Way took a very bold step. We said if we want our partner agencies to have goals, if we really want to create community change, and we want things to improve and get better, then we have to set some goals. And so we set these five goals. Uh, we hope to achieve them in five years, or at least make significant progress. And I'm happy to say that now we're rolling into year two of these goals, and we've been collecting a lot of data. Um, our partner agencies actually just turned in the reports uh, last Friday to us, so we haven't had much time to do a lot of calculation. And I will tell you, we have 77 data points we're tracking. So I don't think I'm going to share all that with you, or I would be on stage as long as Bill Clinton was last night. So, <laughs> But uh, we are going to give you a couple highlights of just some of the progress we're beginning to see. Uh, in the terms of financial stability, as you can see, we have over 3,200 individuals who are getting homeless prevention and over 1,300 individuals were sheltered. And that's really important because meeting those basic needs is very, very critical. And I'm gonna share just one really quick story with you. In financial stability, we help people not only with basic needs, but we help them get job training and education. And for the last year, we've been in partnership with Kirkwood Community College in a program called K-PACE. And it's to help people who don't have GEDs or high school diplomas get a certificate, and improve their job skills. Well, we've been working with a young woman with two young children who was earning $10 an hour. And she was working, but she was barely making it. She got enrolled in our program. She's been getting her education and training at Kirkwood, and we've been providing the support services through United Way funding. And today, one year later, that young woman is earning $18 an hour, has a brand new job, and is successfully supporting her family. So that's an example. <laughs> and as you can see, we have over 125 individuals with barriers to employment, um, which we are helping them with. Uh, and we hope to have more of those success stories for you in the future. The second area is our health area. Again, just a few updates. We have almost 1,900 people who have completed substance abuse treatment. And in, in our health area, we know that we want people to be healthy. Many people need these services. But if they can get the services and move on and not need them anymore, they will be successful in the community. And secondly, we have over 2,700 individuals who receive case management services allowing them to remain in their home. These are mostly seniors. They get a whole package of services, and by them being able to remain in their home for as long as possible and as safely as possible, it saves them from moving into institutional care, which as we know is much, much more expensive. Having elderly parents um, and having to deal with this issue recently on a personal level, I can tell you this service is invaluable to not only the individuals, but to their families. And lastly, our education update. What is really exciting to all of us is when we looked at what were the needs in education, uh, we had over 50% of our low-income children in our community who weren't ready for kindergarten. And that translated to well over a thousand kids in our area. We've been working with over 600 of those children already, doing uh, developmental skills. And now, as you can see, we have them in a program where we're tracking their development, improving their developmental skills, and getting ready for kindergarten. And secondly, we also have our youth programs. These are programs where we want kids to stay in school and be successful. And as you can see, the better kids do in school, the more they improve their academic achievement, uh, stay out of trouble, participate in those after-school programs, the more successful they are. And we've had over 500 youth who are improving on an academic level. So the point of all of this is that your money really is going to work. It's helping the people that need it, and the most important thing is we're seeing tremendous progress. And if you stay tuned, we will give you a full report uh, in another few months on year two, and we'll continue to report out to you on how your dollars are being used. So thank you for everything you do.
turn it over to the great chair and co Thanks, Lois. Great report. Uh, one of the things we're always able to do with the help of local companies is to kick off our campaign early every year. We do that with two pace setter companies. There are a couple of reasons we do that. It injects some energy into the campaign. And frankly, it lets us trial some of the material we might be using for the full campaign. So it really works out for, well for lots of reasons, those two being uh, come up with primary ones. The three of us thought through who would be a good company, two good companies to, to be pace setters. We had a list. We had our top two names on the list. We went to them and they both said yes. We were very pleased. So we'd like to call up our very first pace setter company and that's Raining Rose. Check me out by your Chuck, you better introduce your crew. Here's Mike. Hi, how are you? Um, we have Judy Levin and Rhonda Welper with us. Uh, Judy's our CFO, Ron is in charge of HR, and Mike is here too, uh, in charge of sales. So uh, we've been playing golf, and that's uh, at the Mount Mercy Classic, so we don't normally dress this well. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you did, for having did us. Did you bring us anything? No, that, the materials you wanted us to try, no, no, good. no, no, I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about the check. No, it was not a great success. <laughs> oh, that's why we're here. Um, actually, we have someone that's going to bring that up to us. Is Blue Man here? I just need a bigger wallet. Well, if I'm reading this right, Chuck, this says $33,145.56. Wow. Wow. <laughs> tell us how you did that. Uh, actually, I'm going to let Rhonda tell us how she did that because I, we had a phenomenal committee that put this all together. Um, when they first came to us and asked us to be a pace setter, I sat down with our committee and tried to come up with ideas why we shouldn't do it. And because we've got a lot of stuff going on, but instead our committee said, we want to do this, we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. And so Ron is going to explain some of the reasons or some of the ways we did that. Hi everybody. <laughs> uh, first thing we did, we had a cookout and we sold some balloons. Who would ever have thought that went so well, but we sold some balloons with little prizes, little tickets inside. Had 50 balloons and they sold out within minutes. So we raised our first 100 bucks just without hardly having to do anything. And I didn't help blow them up. I think she did all that. <laughs> um, we also have a annual golf outing and we increased the entrance fee for that so that a portion of that could go to United Way. And we had a really good turnout there. We um, had a 1K, 5K walk run just hoped that we would get 50 people signed up and we had over 60 so that turned out really well um, and then we sold raffle tickets and we have lots of companies in the community to thank for the prizes they donated and I don't have them memorized but they know who they are they helped us out greatly and we were able to raise over a thousand dollars that way and then a couple other things we did internally was Chuck purchased a Kindle Fire and I love mine, so it was easy for me to push, but if anybody increased their giving for the um, year over last year, they got put in for a drawing for that. So that always went, always goes over well. Anything free and fun is good. And then a day of PTO, um, just giving at all, you got in for a drawing of PTO. So we had a really great turnout. Great, terrific, terrific. Actually, Blue Man, yes. why don't you tell us how you came to be? All right. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Oh, you can do better than that. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. There we go. Um, actually, Rhonda and Judy um, thought of Blue. Um, my name is Steve Berg, and I'm an employee at Raining Rose. <laughs> um, but I was just basically a, a symbol of energy and passion and motivation um, for our employees at Raining Rose. And, um, you know, we met our goal and exceeded it. Um, 
and I was basically just there to to give a little bit more energy and motivation to our employees and the people that were involved. So I enjoyed it. Uh, we have a great owner, Chuck Hammond, who is um, you know very passionate about United Way, and it just trickles down from there. And we just feed off of that passion. So um, I'm honored to be a part of Rain and Rose and United Way. So. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Chuck. I want, I want to make two closing comments with this group. They neglected to mention that thirty-three thousand dollars is a ten thousand dollar increase, fifty percent. So great. And if you ever take the trip down First Avenue, they did this, as as maybe all of you know. Again, at the same time, they're building a brand new building at First Avenue. So a lot of effort. Thanks a lot, crew. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, Chuck. We, uh, we may need the blue man outfit for our clothes out here. You can wear it. Uh, so we had, a, we had to have a second uh, company. I, it was my idea to have Tim Dwight. I mean, everyone loves Tim Dwight. He's a, he's a local hero. He runs a solar company. Unfortunately, it turns out his solar company is in Iowa City. So I said, who is the second most famous football player in the history of Iowa football? He wasn't available either. <laughs> but we did get Kyle Scoben and Scoben Companies. And if you don't know, Kyle, in fact, was the quarterback for Iowa in 1970. There you go. What, what, what happened to the part where we, we were your first two choices? <laughs> <laughs> just, just hand over the check now. Where's the check? Well, actually, we didn't bring you a check either. Do you have a yellow man or a green uh, man? I think we did bring a video. If we can play the video, we'll show you that. be the high-tech part of this. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how this compared to last year. It was a nice increase. It was a little over $10,500 increase over last year. Again, congratulations. Sir. You know, Mark, I, I know you're going to be surprised to hear this, but most of this credit for this increase didn't come from me. It came from work of someone else. And they are here today, and uh, I'd like for them to step forward or raise your hand so we can acknowledge all the hard work. Linda Knoll, Nancy Williamson, and my daughter Taylor Skogman, the three of them just did an outstanding job and are the real reason. <laughs> this summer we had a barbecue, and uh, all of our employees who had made pledges by that particular date uh, were put in for uh, some drawings. We had Iowa football tickets and uh, uh, basketball tickets, all, all, all kinds of things to encourage them to get their pledges in early. And uh, the three ladies had, had come up with that. But at the, the uh, barbecue, one of the employees came up to me and, and asked, uh, how long has the Scogin Company been supporters of uh, United Way? And I thought about it, and then I really gave him kind of a sketchy uh, answer, because uh, I didn't know. And I said, you know, gosh, as long as I can remember. <laughs> and when you think about it, I've been with the company 40 years, so uh, that is a long and very good relationship that our company has had with United Way. And the reason we're such staunch supporters of United Way is we, we watch what they do, and they raise a lot of money but they do it very efficiently. The cost, uh, th there is not a lot of cost to the money they raise, and that's really important to us, uh, they give money. And secondly, we watch how you distribute the money, and you, you saw that today, they, they focus on improving the quality of life of those that really need it, and that's really important to us, they give money too. So it was quite simple, and that's, uh, that's why we have uh, such a long and a great relationship with United Way. And so thank you for selecting us to be one of the pace setter companies. Well, thank you for agreeing to do it.
when, when you have when you have community support from people um, like the Rainy Rose folks and Skogman, you know you're going to be successful again this year, despite that very large and significant goal. And we do want to encourage everyone here to think about uh, what you give, to think about giving a little bit more, and to think about encouraging others to do the same. Uh, we can assure you that it makes a great big difference in our community for an awful lot of people. So we're almost done here. Uh, we do need to, I have to check my script. Oh, we have to bring Morgan up here again to thank her, don't we? Morgan, we need you again. I was Morgan very Murphy. impressed with all that bike riding you did, and I hope they at least gave you something to drink. Did you get tired? Yes. I think we have a little something for Morgan here. We also are going to take advantage of Morgan one more time. I'll tell you about that in a second. You want to go, go ahead and open it, Morgan. While she opens her gift, I want to tell you, the script's many, many pages long. Kristoff is a, incredible. And I was really worried about having boys in the play, but it turns out they did all right, I thought. We have a little gift certificate, and then you can open it. Let's see what else is in there. It's the latest in bobblehead United Way technology. It's a bobblehead of Morgan. You two can have one of these for $150 tonight. So again, thanks everybody for coming tonight. Thanks for being part of the campaign. Thanks for all signing on when you came in to help us raise over $10 million and help 100,000 people. You have one more obligation, actually two more. You have to eat and drink some more, because we don't have enough baggies to take the stuff home. And number two, Morgan has agreed to an autograph signing session. We have pictures of Morgan with her name in her official helmet, a dollar a piece or more if you'd like. It's our first official fundraiser for the year, Beyond Peace Service. Again, Again thanks, thanks for coming. coming. Ron, any final thoughts? So that's it. Thanks. Thank you.